Oh my god, I can actually make a 252 speed RB. What is this? It still has 96 crit, 280 crit damage. You can even sort by the, the highest calcing damage. And it's showing me I need to reforge this 85 piece to fix the build. Guys, you have to use this right now. What's going on guys and welcome on in. Just a quick pre-intro to the guide you're about to watch. This is for a gear optimizer by Fribbles, who by the way, I didn't even realize it. During the recording, you'll see in the Twitch chat at the bottom right, he was actually in the chat typing with us, helping us out. So big shout out to him. The description below will have the download link as well as a way to support him if you want to, which you probably should because it is absolutely incredible. Guys, before we get onto the guide where I'm going to show you exactly what to do, I'll show you within 10 minutes how to get it all set up so you can start having fun. If you have zero technical knowledge, computer knowledge, it's still very simple. You will have to be on an emulator though, guys. Heads up, there's no phone support just yet, but I'll show you how to do it. And what it's going to do is going to get all your gear into one database and the program let's say you want your fire ravi sitting at the left hand side of the table you want your fire ravi with 16k health uh 250 crit damage 100 crit chance and on speed and immunity right you just input those and the program will find if it's possible if your gear's not there yet guys you may have to lower the stat requirements but it'll pull it all up together find the pieces for you and show you exactly what to do in terms of stat gearing so very simple I think now is the best time to get into these gear optimizers. They've been a thing forever, but I never liked them because they were never, they were a little bit of a hassle to use. And now it's incredibly simple, guys. I think everyone can great, have great use out of this, even my new players, even my endgame players. I'm going to be messing with it for the next month or so, hardcore. So make sure you watch the video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below as in terms of um, uh, setting it up, but it should be fairly simple for most of y'all. Real fast, LD player and Mimu, Mumu. Um, Fribble said it works best with, but I did make it work on blue stacks in case you're using that. Just a heads up, he said there were a few issues with it. Regardless, very simple. Let's get on with the video, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. So make sure you set up a folder for most of y'all. Blue stacks and LD player. You're gonna. It's just gonna default, and I'll show you how to find that folder in just a second. But first things first. Let's get all our gear imported in. So download the the, the optimizer. Put it in its own folder anywhere you want. Uh, link in the description below and then let's go ahead just pick any unit you're gonna get all your screenshots from this page right here going to the gear management is the best way to this is how you're gonna grab all your screenshots and before you do double check something for me make sure whatever emulator you're using make sure you're on 1600 by 900 and make sure in game you have high quality support on okay otherwise the program may not calculate or detect your images. I'm going to edit that out. If you didn't see it, guys, if you're wondering, there's an alert that played that I'm going to edit out. Thank you, Hats. Okay. Make sure this high quality support is checked. All right. And let's begin. Let me show you all how I did this super fast. This is the most annoying part. This is the groundwork. You got to get everything uploaded. It's It feels like it might take a year. But remember, we have that folder set up, right? For blue stacks, it's control shift S. So what I'm going to do, we're just going to go down the entire line, okay? Control shift S. And we're just going to click that. Click every single one. And the faster you go, right? Some of y'all got better click action because you're not boomer like me. The faster you go, just make sure you're holding control shift and S and you just keep going through every single one. Depending on how much gear you have, it could take five minutes. If you have a ton of gear, it could take 10, 15 minutes, but you only have to do this once. So once you get it done, you're good to go. Now do me a favor. Once you get that stuff clicked here, I'll also double show you guys. If you just click, uh, pick a new piece, you can also click this manually. This is how you'll find your folder the first time. Okay. View in windows folder. Copy paste this. It's going to usually be the blue stacks. I changed the default because um, I'm trying to show you all a new section. I already have all my images uploaded, but all your stuff is going to be in here, right? So it's looking like it's good to go, but test it for me. So choose the folder desktop. We put ours in gear folder open and it's going to go through a search. Okay. We're, we just threw in a few to test and you should see succeed. If it says failed, your resolution is wrong. Something else is wrong. Ignore the sub alerts, guys. I'm going to edit all that out. Don't worry. <laughs> all right. So success. Finish reading the screenshots. That's what you need. Now, I showed you how to do it quickly, right? So once you get that working, when you finally upload everything, just figure out your hotkey. Set a good hotkey. 
Control shift S for me. Boom, boom, boom. Just give it a second. Make sure it shows up on the screen, depending if your computer's laggy or not. Once it's showing up, control shift S. Control shift S. Control shift S. You'll do that for all your gear up to include your 85s too, guys. Include all the gear. I would say start with all the plus 15s. Maybe you can ignore the 70s, but it it's so fast. Just upload everything. You can exclude stuff later, okay? And you're going to do that for every single set. So all your gear here. Control shift S. Click. Control shift S. Click. Boom. 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 See how fast that can be? So just set aside 10, 15 minutes and get it done. Throw it into here and then you're going to hit export. All right. It'll take a while once it gathers all once it gathers it all up. Um, I believe you hit append data. So I'm not going to override what I did before because I have 450 items. I don't want to redo guys, but I think that's all you need. Yeah, Minty, you see this? I did 450 screenshots. It's fast. It still didn't take me long at all. And then hopefully... All your gear shows up here, guys. Okay? So one more time. 1600 by 900, right? Make sure you're on high quality support in the game settings. Go into the gear manager. Start with this. Max enhance. Find your hotkey button. And just click, 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 click. Go through. Go fast. Get it done once. And then you're done. Very, very simple nowadays. Now we can get into the fun part. All right? I'm still learning it, guys. So, so my chat has been kind of helping me figure out stuff but let's go ahead and show an example so all your gear is here right let's start with heroes who do we want to add well my guys have been telling me to try a 250 speed mort build because if you weren't aware car has a triple s mort that is about to be benched all right so we add mort in and here's the important part make sure for every hero especially if they have imprints or an exclusive equipment but even just for the artifact you're going to want to add bonus stats if you don't know the artifact yet, if they don't have an exclusive equipment, you can leave this out. But any extra info you can give the uh, optimizer, the better, right? So, let's start with more. And by the way, YouTube, Twitch chat is breaking. So, we've been go it's been a crazy day for us. It's been a crazy day for us. All right, let's find more real fast. He is currently on a counter. I've been messing with a lot of stuff. A counter um, immunity build with a little bit of attack. But we want him on 250 speed, right? So we're going to help the, the optimizer is going to find us the exact stats we want. So let's go ahead and input Elbrus Ritual Sword, which is 195 attack and 702 speed. So we just input here. 95 attack. Did I say 702 speed? 195 attack and 702 health, not speed. 702 health right here. Okay. Done. Next, we also have to add the crit chance, which I believe is... 16.8 and that should that should be it for our bonus sets if you have draco plate or something guys make sure you add that in too although yeah i think draco plate should just that, that should be a straight crit damage right guys and then we move over to the optimizer once you have that set up right mort this is how you'll have the database of all your heroes we added mort so he's here right here let's go ahead i have some stuff that was from earlier we were testing but let's let's make some new stats so what do we want? Let's say we want 250 speed. Let's go ahead and say 17,000 health. It's going to kind of be this, but I'll try to change the rates a little bit so we can see more. 85 crit rate. Uh, let's go for two. Let's try 250 crit damage. 250 crit damage. See what it comes up with, right? Put in your stat filters. If you want to limit the search parameters, you can add like you want to use a crit damage neck. You want to add a health neck. We're going to leave most of these blanks beside the sets. We want to make sure he's on a speed set. And then for his two piece, we want either crit or immunity. We don't care either because at 250 speed, he's probably passable without immunity. If we can get it better. Okay. I believe that's everything set up, right guys? Referring to my Twitch chat real quick. And um, I think you can also make sure the... um. The emulator chooses prior uh, prioritizes subsets over the others. You can kind of change this too. If you put in the ag actual stat filter, maybe you don't need it. Let's test it out without that. But here, make sure this is not at 100. Basically what this one is, is it'll rate every single piece of your gear and give it a score, right? We filtered by top score and you can make it search from the top percent. So we want it to be, since more might be one of our main units, let's lower that a lot. 
We'll lower it to 20%. Top 20% of my gear to look through, okay? All right, so let's start. Let's see if it works. If something's bad, we'll, we'll filter this out. Okay, so top... We got a warning. <laughs> top 10% of the value, but no stat parties are assigned. So I like the stat party, otherwise this, the filter will pick random... Okay, good. So we did have to set that up. So what do we, we want? HP. Let's max that out. HP and speed are the most important. After that, crit rate. And then crit damage, we'll put out a 2. Everything else, not needed, right? Defense, maybe a 1. Because I will probably add in defense here in the final build. But let's go ahead and see what it comes up with now. And don't worry about this. We don't need the accessory main stats. We left that out last time. If you want to choose them, you can. So, now guys, it, it, it found about... What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 plus combinations of gear. And it shows at the bottom when I select different sets, right? And all you got to do is look at which ones met the uh, the stats you wanted. So this top one, we got the 70k health. We have the 250 speed. We're at 89 crit. I'm going to make that 100, but I changed it a little bit now just so we can see some other stuff. And we're at 250 crit damage. So this build's actually kind of nice. Maybe I should try a high crit and have higher crit damage. But our defense is about 1100, so we'd probably pick this 1200 one with 85 crit. We guaranteed crit ice units, we still have good um, crit damage, and we are above 17k health with 1200 defense. That's the build I want. Whatever you guys want, let's say you want your mort to be 20k health, right? What's a typical mort, guys? 20k health, um, let's say anywhere above 180 to 220 speed. Let's say 170. Crit rate, 100. Crit damage, 250, right? Defense, let's say 1300. Let's erase that speed. Just put minimum one, 170. And we'll let's change it to. Let's see if it comes up with anything. We'll do speed and counter. Same two piece sets. Start. Okay. <laughs> I have no gear, I guess, that comes up with those stats. So if you get nothing, it means you're being too strict with it, right? You're being too strict with it. All right, let's get out of counter. My counter gear is not that good, I guess. Just speed. Can we come up with anything? There we go. So speed. Now we're going lower. Lower. Um, we're on a speed set, but we're not going for 250 anymore. We're now down to 170. So in this kind of build, you have a ton of options, right? If I just want 20k health, 1300 defense, 100 crit rate, and above 250 crit damage, it came up with like 20 plus solutions. So what does this mean? You pick the best one. Start with your best units. Get them on the best gear. We're, we're choosing from our top 20%. After that, you can lock gear to filter out that gear. Let's say I am, I'm happy with this top Mort build. It shows me the stats down here, right? So it's on my 90 attack weapon. An 85 helmet, which is interesting, right, guys? It's actually using an 85 helmet that I haven't reforged, but it's predicting the reforge here if you have this button checked. It has my immunity 88 chest, a 90 crit damage neck, and then ring and boots both 90 red pieces okay so just remember what to put there then you put that in actually here in mort's gear manager um and then from there on out guys you can fiddle with the settings you can choose exact stats you can filter out right so i'm going to put all this gear on mort i would lock it then when i do the gear optimizer for my next unit it won't look for these items anymore we can save that there the possibilities are endless yeah you can also filter out don't use equipped gear a lot of options, but I just got you guys the ground rules, okay? Or the, the, the framework to get this all set up. So remember, import all your files. Export it, append the data. Then you start on heroes. Add your hero, add the bonus stats. And then you go into the optimizer and fiddle with the exact stats you need. It might take you a few test runs, guys. But I promise, just use this guide. Look at the readme. It's very, very easy. There's been a lot of gear optimizers in the past that have been, you know, when they're newer, they were more difficult. There's a lot of more errors. It's very simple now. All of y'all watching can do this. I promise. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Me and Twitch chat, which is why you guys should hang out with us. We're going to go ahead and mess with this some more. Check out some other units. But maybe I'll add another guide if y'all have extra questions. All right? Anyways, thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, Twitch. Say, say bye to them, guys. Say bye to them. We're going to test Fighter Maya. And then we're going to test uh, locking some gear. Ignore that alert. Bye, guys.